Mr. Nolan, you told us we could count on your loyalty. You didn't tell us you were coming here to defend the Communist Party. Is that what you want to do? We know they're out there, but, but I'll be damned if I know how we're supposed to find them. You know, it'd be a lot easier uh, on everybody if you all wore some, uh, some kind of identification like a pin or a bumper sticker. Then we wouldn't have to sit here and go through all this. Make it a lot easier on everybody, now wouldn't it? I beg of you to please don't make me do this. Don't make me crawl through the mud. You know who they are. My friends. They are communists. Now, why do you feel that they ought to be protected? We need to protect this country from the ideas that they're spreading through their films and their television shows. Look, when I joined the party, they were trying to help people. I thought they were trying to help people. It was the depression. People needed help. It was a good thing then. Son, you, you came here and you confessed your membership. Now, all we're asking you to do in good faith, and also to purge yourself of your mistakes in the past, is to help us in identifying the people in those photographs. Look, I don't want to be an informer. Real Americans have appeared before this committee, and they have demonstrated their loyalty. I want to ask you something. How do you think we got your name in the first place? I thought you were no longer a member of the Communist Party. I'm not. I told you. I think you're still a member of the Communist Party, and I know some people that'd be very interested to know that. Yeah. Would you speak up, please, son? There's nothing to be ashamed of here.